Oh, Adam, I can't believe you just said that. Okay, so first weekend of the fall, if you bought a new iPhone, what are you going to do? Why not head out to the downtown growers market and enjoy the cooler mornings we're having now, right? We're being joined by a few local vendors this morning who will be down there this weekend. First up, Jay Willer with South Valley Soaps. Thanks so much for joining us. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. So let's get right into us. Tell us about your company. Uh, obviously, you make soaps. I do. Tell it's, me about it's, it. It's uh, all from scratch. It all comes out of my kitchen in my home. Wow. And um, all natural herbal soap that's really great for your skin. I've always wondered how long does it take to make soap? You know, it takes about 45 minutes to put the batch together, and then you wrap it up in blankets and let it sit overnight. Okay. And then you cut it up, and it's got to dry for three weeks. Oh, wow. So it's so that's of, a long process, yeah, right? About three and a half weeks altogether. Okay, so tell me about your products. What sets you apart from other soap makers? You know, I do mostly kind of southwestern themed soaps. Like I have an horchata soap, a cilantro Ooh. lime soap, okay. red, red chili chocolate. Wow. Lavender blue cornmeal. That's interesting. Red chili chocolate. Yeah. Does it smell great? Uh, it smells really great in the shower. Okay. It smells like kind of uh, a brownie. Wow. Yeah. That's interesting. I wouldn't yeah. have thought about that. Okay, so where are you going to be? You're going to be at the downtown growers market, right? Absolutely. Do you know where you're going to be set up at? I'm always in the same location. I'm over on Copper, which is the north edge of the park. Okay. And that's where they can find me. Okay. Look, look for the vintage tablecloths. Do you have a place where people can find you online? I do not. I'm no, not, not. I don't yet. have a web presence yet. Not nope. yet. So yep. you have to go to the downtown growers market to Absolutely. find you. Absolutely. Okay. It's all face to face. And you don't want to miss all this great stuff. I mean, you use a lot of local products, right? I do indeed. I okay. work closely with a lot of growers here. Uh, in Albuquerque, like Red Tractor Farms. Okay. They grow the basil, the cilantro, the blue corn. Um, Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Well, I want to thank you so much for joining us, thank Jay. Thank you. Good I luck. appreciate yeah. it. We're going to send things over to Adam. One of the other vendors that you'll be seeing out at the downtown growers market is uh, Lloyd Kreitzer. He has Land of Enfigment, which is a local fig grower. I'll tell you what, you provide trees for folks, right? Yes, I provide trees so that they can have that experience of putting their hand next to a ripe fig, having it fall into their hand, and before they know what they're doing, the hand is in the mouth and the fig is halfway down the throat. <laughs> now he brought me a sample. I'm gonna try it here in a second because in I'm front of everybody. We're all familiar with maybe the figs that you might pick up at the store, right? But these are fresh. Oh. So what's unique about yours? Oh, it's well, you'll have to taste it. I, you it's, know what I'm gonna do? It. I'll just do it right now. How about that? Okay. This is a piece that you broke off from. This. When did you pick this one? Uh, yeah, last night. See, it's delicious. You know what I like about it? It has kind of a fruity flavor that you don't maybe normally get, normally taste when right. it comes to figs. Right. Yeah, it's awesome. The oldest food in the world that we eat. Really? Yeah. What about your nursery? Tell me about that. Uh, my nursery is about 15 years old. Mm -hmm. I select figs from all over the state. Uh, the Pancho Villa from, from uh, Columbus, New Mexico. This is, the, oh, this is a 200 year old variety of a stagecoach stop fig from mm -hmm. the southern part of Socorro. Oh, wow. And this is the only fig in the state that produces three crops from La Luz, New Mexico, north of Alamogordo. People can find you at the downtown growers market. What's, what's so important about showcasing your business there? You know, it is the community. Figs are not eaten by themselves. They're eaten in a, in a whole sense of community. And, you know, th there's a joke about when you have figs, that's when you have your most friends. <laughs> so, um, you can't have figs without community. That's mm -hmm. just part of it. Mm -hmm. And I have 20 varieties. Now they're tasty, but they must have some uh, health benefits as well. They're high in sugars, they're high in minerals, they're the most alkaline food in the world. Cancer cannot live in alkalinity. Mm. Interesting. So uh, they're, they're, I don't know. They're, and what? how would you describe the taste of a and, fig? That's what I was saying. There's a little bit of a, a fruity flavor to it that I really enjoyed, and it's very nice. I love it. It's good. Uh, Lloyd Kreitzer with Land of Enfigment. We're glad Land to have you this morning. Figment. Let's turn things over to Kristen. She's got another vendor you can meet out at the downtown growers market. Thank you, Adam. I'm here with Michael Mole, owner of One World Rug Care, who is also supplier of some of the tea from One World Tea House. So we're talking tea this morning, Michael. Tell me a little bit about the tea that you guys offer. Um, so everything we offer with tea is back to our philosophy, which is education through hydration. So really kind of reteaching, like Lloyd just mentioned, mm -hmm. the community how to rehydrate themselves. Because the modern day things we think of as hydration, mm, not quite. <laughs> it's kind of fair to none. Mm -hmm. okay. um, so what we do is 100% organic, fairly traded. So mainly stuff from other countries around the world and mm -hmm. really supporting a global trade network. So 
the same philosophy yeah. that we utilize at One World Rug Care is creating that global trade network. So everything's 100% organic, fair trade. Mm -hmm. And then we use orga organic agave oh, and okay. organic chia seeds to really boost up the quality of the tea. Absolutely. So. And you guys are going to be at the growers market this weekend, correct? Absolutely. Where do we find you out there? Is there a special spot? So we're way out um, on the corner. You wouldn't miss us if you try. Just look for these big, beautiful flags you'll see flying in the park. Oh, okay. And we're on the far west end. Good to know. And yeah. then you also have a spot in town, correct? We do. We're located at Paseo and I-25 at One World Rug Care. And throughout the week, anyone's welcome to come by and visit. We have a goat farm there as well. So eventually you can have tea with the goats. Absolutely. And that's it. Okay, downtown growers markets this Saturday, correct? Correct. What time is it usually run? Um, from about 8 to 1. Okay, perfect, Michael. And it's getting you. colder, so you never know. Yeah, jacket in the morning, <laughs> that's for sure. Thank you so much for joining us. You don't want to miss it. Downtown Growers Market. For a recap on all the vendors that we had on this morning, just head to our website, carequeue.com. We'll be right back.